There's a camp in Lyle that has no campfires, no marshmallows, and no beaded crafts. But it offers a skill that few have mastered. As Steve Sanders reports, it's a vocal jazz camp, another of Chicago's very own. For Dwayne Moore, this is an entirely new experience, learning to be a jazz vocalist. Dwayne's first attempt at scat is commendable, but perhaps tentative and lacking commitment. Then, a few tips from a veteran instructor. The line is very much up and down, you know, it keeps going up and down. I want you to think less of it as being vertical and more horizontal. Okay. No, it's there, it'll happen. But feel like you're driving forward rather than up and down, okay? And within a few minutes, Dwayne is singing with a newfound strength. It's the annual Janice Borla Vocal Jazz Camp, where some 40 aspiring singers have come to spend a week learning from the pros. It's just recently, in the last, oh, 20 or 30 years, perhaps, that jazz has be been a, uh, a viable major on college campuses, but it was mostly instrumentally oriented. And so vocal jazz is even younger in its genesis uh, or involvement. Uh, than, um, than instrumental jazz, and so it's still pretty much in the developmental stage. Borla, a veteran jazz vocalist and recording artist, is a faculty member at Illinois Benedictine College in Lyle, which hosts the vocal jazz camp. Joined by two other jazz professionals, Borla teaches vocal techniques that might ordinarily take years to learn. You can teach the knowledge about music and about the craft of singing and of, of improvising and on all the things that make jazz happen. You can't really teach the art. I mean, that's up to the individual. Most of the students are not professional singers, but some, such as Renee Gust, a registered nurse from Minneapolis, may be on the verge of a second career. Two years ago, I was a total amateur. I had maybe sung, sung uh, two jazz in public. Yes, right, right. So what's happened in the years that have followed? A lot has happened. Um, in fact, um, right now I'm in a vocal jazz ensemble in Minneapolis through McPhail Center for the Arts, and um, I have sang solo pieces with this ensemble, and also I've started my own vocal jazz ensemble. Most of the students find something here they don't get from private vocal instruction. For one thing, you get to talk to other people in terms of what they're doing musically. Um, so you get to share experiences that normally just taking lessons you don't because it's you and your instructor. Erin Cook works in marketing for the jazz-oriented magazine Jazz Is, but she has always dreamed of being a singer. I was always very interested to find out how people could make it in the industry and practical advice that one could receive if they wanted to aspire to be a professional musician and vocalist. Um, so I decided that I was going to go. Now in its fourth year, the Janice Borla Vocal Jazz Camp. It's one of Chicago's very own. Sounds good. Any and summer now, camp does, doesn't it? <laughs> now,